Once again, welcome to the Lucas Oil Off-Road Expo, powered by General Tire. I believe this is our last interview of the day here at the MAV TV stage, unless they throw me a curveball here afterwards, which would be fine, but uh, as it stands right now, I've got to tell you, we saved the best for last. That might upset some of the other people, but it's just the way it is. Sitting alongside me is the very talented and very lovely Corey Weller, who also runs in the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series and Best in the Desert, correct? Yeah, actually, um, we've been running uh, the Best in the Desert Trophy Light Series so far this year. Uh, owner Mike West was nice enough to ask if I wanted to help drive the team, and it's been, it's been a good time. Absolutely. A Trophy Light truck, is that uh, is that correct? Yeah, it's a Trophy Light um, spec class for desert racing. Um, second in the points? You know, I'm not even sure where we are in points. You're second class. in the points? Are we really? <laughs> you are. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty good effort. <laughs> So uh, how's it been out there in the desert? I mean, when you run short course, you're in UTV uh, SR1, I believe it is, in the UTV category, very fast, by the way, and uh, very talented, leading in the points there, looking for that first championship. Yeah, um, that's, I'm stoked to be at this point in the season and to be leading him by 12 points right now. Um, so going into Vegas, we need to hold it together and get that win. Right on. So uh, taking that short course experience to the desert, does it apply, or is the desert and the vehicle, of course, drastically different? Um, you know, I think there's always benefits of cross-training, driving different things. Um, there may be some things that don't directly apply, but just learning vehicle control. Um, with desert racing, you know, a lot of times you don't know what's coming up. So it's, I think it's good for teaching reaction times. You have to be very quick on your feet. You have to be a quick thinker. Um, you know, the, the power is different. Uh, power weight ratio is a lot different. Um, the trophy light actually doesn't have as much power as my short course car. Um, so it's more of a momentum thing. Going through the corners is a lot different. Um, it tends to be taller and, you know, it floats more. Um, so. There's a little bit of learning curve every time I get in that truck. I have to remember, okay, I'm not driving my short course car. Um, but again, there's always things I think you can learn things from short course for desert, for desert for short course, um, and the time is amazing no matter what you're in. So. Absolutely, yeah, much higher center of gravity. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously where you're going with the uh, with the desert truck as well. And don't let the beautiful face and the stunning physique fool you. A uh, very talented driver as well. So not just a pretty face, with blonde hair that put the helmet on and said, hey, I'm going to go have some fun with the guys. I mean, very competitive and very, very fast. And the UTV category is, uh, I mean, it's scary fast, you know, to watch those things uh, run around like you guys do. Yeah, uh, we started comparing our lap times with some of the other classes. I think the, wow, Pro 2, Pro 4 obviously are faster, but now we're right up there. So, like, um, super light, super faster. We're one of the fastest classes out there, and we're teeny little things. So it's kind of weird to, like, watch such a tiny little car that's so fast. Yeah, I mean, I would think it'd be pretty, I mean, I, I always think it's a downside, and, you know, if you go for a ride in one of those things, uh, it's going to be quite a ride. <laughs> it is, but they're light, so it's, I mean, wrecking, wrecking bad no matter what, um, but they are light little cars, so, you know, you just kind of bebop around on the ground, flip around a lot. It um, doesn't cause quite as much damage as I think it's like the heavier trucks do, um, so a lot of times we can flip back right up, um, a lot like super light and, and just keep on going, so. I know the guys uh, certainly enjoy looking at you, and the women probably hate you behind your back but love you to your face, but they should all know that this doesn't come easy. I mean, you work hard. I know uh, talk, chatting with you once in a while on Facebook, it's like, I'm going to the gym again. I'm going to the gym second time today. I mean, it's something that obviously you enjoy doing, but it, it has to pay off when you go racing. Um, yeah, there, you know, it's, there's that whole thing, you know, NASCAR didn't get an argument, our NASCAR drivers Um it, it's all part of the package. I think in order to be a good driver, to have good reflexes, to um, you know, perform the best you can in the car, you need to be in top physical shape, you need to be in top mental shape. Um, and yeah, you know, working out for me is a stress reliever, but I also need to be on my game every single race. I need to be in shape as much as I can possibly be. Um, that to me is as important as seat time, practice, driving. Um, I think it's just a, a total package. Um. We talked about it briefly in the beginning of the year, and you thought an opportunity might develop to possibly get inside of a Pro 2 truck. Any more, uh, any more news? What are, what, what's, what's in the forefront? Yeah, um, we've actually been working on that um, for quite a while now. Um, you know, my title sponsor is very, very interested in seeing me in Pro 2. Um, we've been talking about all season. We're working on a lot of things for next season. And um, right now it's looking really good. Um, it's racing. Anything can happen. Um, but things are looking very, very good, and um, there's a very definite possibility that I'll be in a Pro 2 next year, which I know it's a big step. A lot of people are like, really? <laughs> Pro 2, right? Pro 2. Um, but I tell them, like, no, I'm not 18 years old, and um, Pro 2 is where I want to be. Um, the car I'm in right now, there's a lot of similarities. Um, I would rather spend two or three, four years in a Pro 2 getting seat time than go from one class to another, to another, to work up to that truck. Seat time is 
I just need to be comfortable. So for me, it's just time in the car. Uh, the longer, the longer I can spend in that truck, um, the better driver I'll be, and I just want to go straight to it. So. Well, we see a lot of kids come out of karting, and karting is uh, a very quick sport. We were talking about it earlier today, and the amount of time that you're in the middle of a turn and trying to dissect information and, and what the setup should be when you come off the track. But because they're short and gripped up and quick, it gets your mind at the speed. And you're talking about your, your UTV. It's a small vehicle. It's light. But it's as quick as the pro-light truck, so you know, your amount of time to react to something is much shorter to try and save that short wheelbase. So typically I think that someone like yourself, who's already going as fast as the pro-light truck, and you're coming out of a vehicle that's actually, you have to react a bit quicker than I would say you would in a pro-light truck. So I don't see the Pro 2 as a violent step for you. It's certainly something you could grasp. I mean, you've proven that you have the driving talent. If you take a look at a, at a Nick Tyree, never did any racing at all and he hops inside of a pro 2 and he's getting up to speed a little bit at a time so i don't i wouldn't rule it out by any stretch yeah I, like I said, there are a lot of similarities um i think the weight difference is going to be um my biggest challenge my car is very light um and it reacts like a light car so um power to weight i think is very similar uh you know way too much power way too much you can never just smash the throttle in that car because you would break the other so it's a lot of financing um corners i think is going to be very similar but so the weight issue is, is what i see as my biggest running risk. Uh, what else is on, on tap for 2012? More desert racing? Um, you know, I, if I can. I mean, again, it's, I, I don't like to spread myself too thin. Um, you know, especially going to, if we do the truck next year, um, that's going to be 150% of my focus. On Primary, the truck. sure. Um, but if I do get an opportunity to get some other seat time, again, it's that question. And, you know, I think you can always learn a little bit of something. So, um, yeah, I'm not writing that off at all. I'm going to talk about that too. But uh, focus will definitely be short question. Is the day job still at Mini? Yes, it is. So we could just get Minnie to come out with a truck. Minnie Cooper Pro 2 would be awesome. You'd fit right in. You'd be the poster child for sure. So, yeah. well, we certainly appreciate you coming around and uh, spending some time with us. You said you're here till five o'clock. Uh, what's, yeah. what's happening? Um, you know, Dirt Sports actually invited us to uh, participate this year. Um, my SR1 is in the Dirt Sports booth in Building Six. Um, they just came out with Dirt Sports Apparel line, and there we go. There it is. <laughs> Um, so, um, you know, thanks to them, we're, we're able to be here and hang out with everybody, and it's been a great weekend. Beautiful. Well, thanks for swinging by. Always a pleasure to speak to you, and uh, can't wait to see you in Vegas. I'm sure you're ready to go, right? I'm so ready for Vegas. It's on. <laughs> awesome. Corey Weller, ladies and gentlemen, points leader in the UTV category, and second in the points and best in desert. We wish you the best of luck, and who knows, maybe two uh, championships in your very near future. That would be awesome. All right, we're going to get it over to, uh, to Cause. Sorry, Cause, I just can't speak right now. A little tongue-tied. <laughs>